welcome. Uh, continuing with our series on Shell Scripts 2017. Um, and uh, a few videos ago, we went over some basics of functions. Um, but let's say you wanted to put functions uh, inside a file that you can use with multiple scripts, kind of like a header file in C, if you're familiar with that at all. Well, let's do that today. I've already created a function or a script containing functions called functions.sh. And here you can see we have three functions. The first two just echo out some things like this is a test, oh uh, yay. Um, fun two says fun number two, yay again. And then function three, which I called fun three, asks you what your name is, puts that in a variable, and then echoes it back out to you. Uh, so obviously we can call these inside here, but let's go ahead and, um, and again, this doesn't have to end in .sh. Well, your script doesn't even have to end in that. It could just be whatever file. But I'm gonna create a file, I'll just call it go.sh. It's gonna be our main function. We're gonna to wanna to be sure to tell our computer that this is a bash script by giving it our shebang line there, uh, bin bash. And then in here, at the top, we want to load up those functions. Again, that file was called function.sh. So I can say dot space, and then I give it the uh, name of the file, which was functions.sh. So now all those functions are loaded into the top of this. Basically, it's like having them written there, just like a header file in C. Uh, so now I can call those functions. I can call function two, I can call function three, I can call function one, I can call function three again. Uh, I can now save this, and I can say, uh, I gotta make that script executable change mod plus x, go.sh, only have to do that once on the system, and then uh, dot slash, say, run the script in this folder called, in this case, go.sh. And I run that, you can see it runs those functions. What's my name? My name is Chris. Uh, what's your name? My name is Bob. Uh, so that way you can create functions that you might use in multiple scripts, but you don't have to copy them to each script. And then, because if you copy them to each script, not only is that duplicating uh, you know, the file, but now if you need to make a change to one of those functions, you have to go and change it in every file that you've put it in. No, you put it in one file, and then you call that file whenever you need it. So I hope you found that useful. Let's just real quick look at it again. Basically, you create, and you can have multiple of these. You can have 10 different ones up here, but you say dot space and the name of the file. If it's not in the current folder, give the full path to it. Uh, and then you can call those functions as if they were printed at the top of this script. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. Also, a link to my Patreon page where you can help support me. Check out both those pages. Uh, check out everything in the description. Uh, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.